traditional crops to avoid, unless they're organic, Hawaiian or Chinese papaya, some zucchini and some yellow squash, not just crooknut, but yellow squash. Also, pre-sliced apples and pre-sliced potatoes. Engineered not to brown when they're sliced. Now these come from a different technology called double-stranded RNA. Now, the double-stranded RNA that's produced by the inserted gene, it's up to 22 nucleotides long, and it matches up with the same corresponding code in the DNA of the apple or potato. They link together and, they get, and it gets silenced. The gene gets silenced. The, it's a little more technical, but that's what happens. The problem is that that same code could link up with our DNA and silence genes. They tested this concept with mice and found, yes, indeed, they could eat food-based RNA and it changed their gene expression in a cell in the liver. And they tested it with honeybees and they fed the honeybees a single meal of double-stranded RNA. It was double-stranded RNA from something that had never been part of the honeybee diet and had never been part of the honeybee DNA, so they figured it would be a control showing no impact. Over the next few weeks after the one single meal, over 1,400 genes changed levels of expression. 10% of the number of genes in the honeybee from a single meal. I talked to a government scientist who said that he tried to blow the whistle up, basically, saying that the government has no capacity to evaluate the impact of double-stranded RNA. He was forced out of his position, ostracized, he left. So even government scientists at the USDA and EPA warning about double-stranded RNA were ignored and the potato and apple are on the market. Please avoid them. It could reprogram our DNA. Could be worse than all of the types of GMOs we were already on the market. Glyphosate <coughs> Roundup <coughs> is also used on non-GMO crops just before harvest as a ripening agent. So it's sprayed on wheat, barley, rye, oats, basically all the cereals, lentils, potatoes, sweet potatoes, citrus orchards, sunflower uh, fields, um, sugar cane. The EPA, to accommodate this practice, increased the allowable levels of glyphosate residues on over 160 crops. So we like to urge you when you're avoiding GMOs to just go organic. Then you avoid the Roundup and other toxic chemicals that are used on some non-GMO crops. If you can't get organic, only then make sure it's non-GMO. And at nongmoshoppingguide.com, we list those that are verified by the non-GMO project, which is the most significant of the non-GMO labels. Thank you.